it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm coming to you with my August Bookcase Club unboxing. Uh, this is the first time that I'm doing an unboxing on this channel and I'm really really excited. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Bookcase Club is a monthly subscription service that brings to you two hardcover books without all of the bling. So if you're somebody that doesn't that wants the books but isn't really interested in all of the merchandise and everything that comes along with it, um, this might be a good pick for you. There are a ton of different types of boxes that you can get. They have fantasy, young adult, there's a children's service. I get the mystery thriller box, so I get two mystery books per box. And you can also change it up every month if you want to go in and pick something different if you choose to. Um, I love this service personally because I'm not really big on merchandise for fandoms and things that I don't actually read, so I enjoy just getting the boxes, um, but I'm super excited for this. I did not realize it was coming quite yet. It's usually a little bit later when I get it, so let's just jump right on into it. I already slit this open so that I didn't have to fight with it on camera. When you open it up, it looks like this on the inside. I like the wrapping paper. I think it's really cool. And then there's the uh, take pictures and share. The little hashtag on it. It's pretty neat. Let's see what we've got here. Some of my favorite books I discovered here. Okay. All right, let me see. The first book here that I'm seeing is Book of Judas by Linda Saucy, I think that is. I don't know anything about this book, but I do really like the cover a lot. It's got a lot of gold, and that looks spiral staircase, so it might take place in a bit of a uh, old location, which I really like. There's book blurbs on the back from Heather Graham and uh, Lisa Scottolini, Sherilyn Kenyon. It's pretty good authors there. Let's see what it says. Okay. When her infant son is placed in mortal danger, New York City reporter Alessandra Russo is forced to save him by tracking down the missing pages of the Gospel of Judas, a heretical manuscript that was unearthed in an Egyptian cave in the 1970s. The manuscript declares that Judas was the beloved, not the betrayer, of Jesus. The gospel disappeared on the black market only to turn up decades later, rotted beyond repair in a safety deposit box. Rumors persist, though, that the most important pages had been stolen, pages that Alessandra now must find. Do the lost pages contain a secret that will challenge Christianity's core beliefs about the creation of life or hold the power to unleash Armageddon? What if such explosive documents fell into the hands of terrorists, dictators, or religious fanatics? Alessandra is plunged into a dark world of murder, conspiracy, and sexual depravity in a race against the clock to save her own child. In this exciting follow-up to the Sixth Station, award-winning journalist Linda Stasi brings her formidable investigative skills, big city street smarts, and fast flying pen to a thriller that will leave readers breathless. I like the sound of that. Um, I'm usually not big on books with a... Um, religious core to it, generally, um, but this sounds like it's weaved in there with some pretty good mystery and could be quite intriguing. Um, it sounds, though, like this might be a sequel, so um, if anybody knows for sure if this is a sequel to anything, be sure to let me know, because I don't want to uh, jump into this if it is a sequel unless I read the first book. Okay, and the second book in my box is Party Girls Die in Pearls by Plum Sykes. I have no idea what this is. It's 1985 and at Oxford University, Pym's Punting and Ball Gowns are de jour. 
First little flower bud and a studious country girl arrives for her first term anticipating nothing more sinister than days spent poring over history books and gilded libraries, and if she's lucky, an invitation to a ball. But when Ursula discovers a glamorous classmate on a chase lounge with her throat cut, she is catapulted into a murder investigation. Determined to bag her first scoop for the famous student newspaper Cherwell, Ursula enlists the help of trend-setting American exchange student Nancy Plangold to unravel the case. While navigating a world of black tie parties and secret dining societies, the girls discover a, s a surfeit of suspects. From broken-hearted boyfriends to snobby Sloan Rangers, lovelorn librarians to dishy dons, no one can be presumed innocent, and Ursula's investigations mean that she may be next on the murderer's list. Clueless meets Agatha Christie in this wickedly funny tale of high society and low morals, the first book in Plum Sykes' irresistible new series. It doesn't sound like something that I would ordinarily read, but it does sound like it might be pretty interesting. I like that it sounds like there's a little bit of a comedy element to it. So uh, I might read this this month or I might wait till next month. I'm not quite sure yet, but I will let you guys know. And that is all that I have for you guys for this video. Um, if you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe, comment down below, and I will make sure to leave a, a link to Bookcase Club in the description so that you guys can check it out if you want. Um, I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.